forced the Quran. So I was like, you know, that sounds that sounds pretty foolproof. So I did it, and I, I would just, even before I accepted Shia Islam, I would I would be defending the Shia. Like there was a, a Yemeni deli I used to, uh, they used to support my dawah. So they had like pamphlets and they gave out all the Qurans, and so I was like I was like, nah, man, that's not true. Oh, but I'm from Yemen. I know the Houthis. Okay, but this is this is this is their beliefs, man. You know what I'm saying? Like they have, we have they have a hadith where Imam Ali Islam hemmed up a tent and set it on fire for somebody saying he was God. Astaghfirullah. You know, so it's. I was like, nah. They're like, yo, you better calm down, Harun. You better. I want to think you're a Shia. I was like, whatever, man. And the classic, oh, uh, Gabriel made the mistake. Gabriel. I was like, nah, man. It's Allahu Akbar three times, man. That's because of the, the conquest of Mecca. No, 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 man. I'm telling you, they prayed towards Karbala, and that was like the first question when I got to Masjid al-Bayt. I was like, what direction? What what city is that? The Kaaba or the Mecca? Isn't that it's not Karbala? No. Well, where do you come on? Our Qibla is the Qibla. And it, was, it just blew my mind. It just blew my mind. So Dr. Jijani, Sayyid Amar Nakashwani, I'm jacking up his name. But, uh, and Masjid al uh, TV, like, I would just, like, you guys have, like, this intense, like, archive. So I would just be everywhere and nowhere. Like, well, I, and I knew, it, I knew it was right, but I was still in Takia, you know, Takia. And eventually I was just like, you know what? Forget it, man. Because this Shia in Pakistan, this Shia in Bahrain, this Shia in Iraq, who, who are getting killed. And they're openly, they're openly Shia. And I'm here in the United States. So what do I got to lose? What do I got to lose? Friends? They're not really my friends. My brothers in Dean? They're not my brothers in Dean. If they're going to cut me off like that. So, I, you know, I was like, yeah, I'm a Shia. And then, then everybody just started falling off. And uh, this one brother was like, man, you know, I love the Yahoo Bay, but I won't worship them. And it, it, was, it was actually around the time of Ashura. And so I was like, okay, what, do you, what, do you, what are you doing on Ashura? I'm going to fast, Habibi. I'm going to fast. When did Imam Hussein alayhi salam die? Uh, uh, the, the Ashura? No, yeah. How come you never heard about it on the Mimbar? Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. And he kept it at that. It's, it, it's insane. It's insane. Like, yeah. It's crazy. See, it, it, it's, it's twofold. One, when they give you the reason behind fasting on Ashura, it doesn't make any sense. If the Prophet Muhammad alayhi salam came... With, with the correct deen, why is he pulling from Beni Israel? Oh, they fast? I have a greater right to Moses. We're going to fast. What? No, nah, man. Like, it didn't make any sense. And e even, even if, to go take it one step further, there are some Sunnis who say the fast on Ashura was negated by the fast in Ramadan. Well, when, it, when, the, when, the, when the command came down to fast the 30 days of Ramadan, forget, that, forget the Ashura fast. So, like, even then, they're, they're button heads with their own, with their own doctrine. But... Uh, it's sad. It, it's really sad, you know? Yeah. But uh, well, when, I, when I found out about Imam Hussein alayhi salam, like, it's like, well, come on, this is the, the last grandson of the last prophet is killed. Is killed. And, then, and then, then you have the audacity to say, Yazid radiallahu an. What? What? Come on now. So wait, if Imam Hussein alayhi salam is the master of the youth in paradise, and you guys think, Yazid's going to Jannah. That's, that's going to be an awkward meeting. Assalamu alaikum, Yazid. You know, no hard feeling, you know. It's a dunya. Come on, what? It doesn't make any sense. Come on. And, and then, like, well, when I found out about, like, what Aisha did and Hafsa and Umar, I'm like, oh, my God, are you serious? Like, and it's in their books. It's in their books. The man ran away like a goat. It's in their books. Come on, man. It's, I'm sorry. But it, it, it's it, it was it was frustrating for so long, you know. It was, and then one day, I'm in my kitchen. My wife, she had just become Muslim. Well, she's been Muslim two years now, alhamdulillah. And so we're in the kitchen one day, and she was like, "Henry, what happened to the Prophet's family? Because she, cause she's like, he dies, and then Islamic history is over. Like that's how she was being taught. And I was like, that's the million dollar question. Now go do your research. And she, alhamdulillah, she she did her research, and now they're. I, I didn't I didn't pester her, but you know, one day it was like Asr time. And she goes and grabs a turba and goes to pray after her, her namaz. I'm like, what are you doing? She's like, Oh, I'm just praying. I was like, you just slide in the door, so you're she, so alhamdulillah, you know, she, she accepted Al Hubayd alayhi salam. And it just and you know what's funny? My two former mentors from uh the Sunni mosque, they uh they they I it was from uh Sheikh Saduk's book. Merit to the Shia. And just in the introduction alone, there was a hadith 
that pointed to the Wailaya of Imam Ali alayhi salam. Just in the introduction. It wasn't even Sheikh Saduk. It was the introduction. So I highlighted it, took a picture, sent it to the, 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 my former two mentors. And I'm like, see, this, this proves that Imam Ali alayhi salam, his rights were usurped because everything points to Ali alayhi salam. All, all the Sunni hadiths. I, 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 you, I can name them right now. And they're like, no, this proves that he was one of them. He's the, he's the fourth. Da, da, da. And then after that, they said, all my scholars are crack. And I quote, all my scholars are crackheads, muta loving dogs. Uh, it's, and these men are 60, 65 years old, mind you. And they're, they're just rambling these nasty, nasty words. And I'm like, wait, you, you guys taught me to, act, to look for Dalil, proof and evidence. I'm giving you proof and evidence, and now my scholars are crackheads? And, like, and they had the audacity. I read a hadith once from Al Kafi. Which volume? Oh, it was on a piece of paper somewhere. You read a hadith on a piece of paper? I could, I could write a hadith on a napkin. That doesn't mean it's sahih or it's even authentic. So it's like these 60, 65 women are so stuck in their ways. It's, oh, it's, it's sad. It's sad. And so well, well, I do what I always do. I did it when I did my dawah with the Christians and with the atheists. I went the mubahala route. I was like, let's do a mubahala. And whoever's wrong is wrong. And they go to Jahannam. No, 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 no. I, no. I don't want you to go to hell. No, Habibi. Come on. It's a sunnah. You guys are with the beard, the pants. It's a sunnah. Come on. Nobody, none of them, none of them. Nobody is to this day Jehovah's Witnesses, Mormons, Presbyterians, Sunnis, Sufis, Salafis. Nobody, nobody wants to do it. It's like, come on, man. <laughs> see, a Masjid al Hubayt isn't as. See, Masjid Taqwa has been around since like 80, 1981, 82. Imam Siraj Wahaj, that's, that's his Masjid. And so, like, they're, they're ingrained. Like, they have like 300 people at their Juma. Meanwhile, Masjid al Hubayt, we'd be lucky to have like. Two rows, you know, because, and that's actually one thing I, I shame, the, like, I shake my finger at the Shia. They don't do outreach. The Shia, Shias don't do dawah. They, they, they don't do tablik. They don't do anything. Like, it, it, it's sad, you know, it's sad. But, uh, and like, the, the Jama'at at Masjid al oh, they're all older men in their 50s, 60s, 70s. And it's like, uh, there's, there's no really, like, they go to Mas- do a tabasul, you know, do a kumail, juma. But you know, it's it's they're a bunch of old men, and I'm, I'm only one. I'm only one thirty year old guy, you know. I, I've I've brought up like let's do some outreach, you know. No, no, no. But I'm like, you guys got the hawk. It's it's incumbent upon us to go and and spread, you know. But I don't know, like one of one of my goals long term is to like go to Hausa, you know, finish Hausa. Well, you never really stop learning, but and like come back to the states and. Uh, you know, Masjid Aba Abdullah, where it'd be like, do a Kumail, do a Tawasul, but like, then we'd have like intra faith, like, kind of like a Peshawar Nights kind of thing, a 21st century, where we'd have like a, a, a Sunni, a respectable Sunni who knows his stuff, and a respectable Shi, and then, you know, bring, bring you know, and let, let the people decide. Let the people decide, you know? No, but just talk. Just bring your proofs, I'll bring my proofs, and let's do it, you know? So, but, yeah, that, that's, that's long term. <sighs> what needs to be done more? See, I, I'm, not, I'm not even she long enough to like, what needs to be done more? Well, first people need to start, stop going to these Facebook shakes and Google Molanas and these Majo Wars. Like, and even, there's even she who are anti Marja and they're like, oh, you Asulis. Like, yo, what are you guys doing, man? You guys are infighting. It's stupid. It's stupid, man. Come on. But yeah, like, uh, or these memes were like these hadith with no with no references, and these people take it like it's gospel truth. No, come on, man, you crazy. So I think we need to get from behind the keyboard, back in the books, and like get dawah tables, man. It's too easy. It's too easy. Like I raised fifteen thousand dollars one year. It was the summer of twenty twelve. I raised fifteen thousand dollars, handing out Qurans in English and Spanish and all these pamphlets. I was on the trains in New York City, the subways. You know, I got called a turncoat. I got called a terrorist. I heard, I heard it all. I heard it all. But it's like, I, I, I'd be here handing out my Qurans and they'd be Nation of Islam. You know, like, because the Jehovah's Witnesses, they're even here in the UK. I, I saw them by, uh, what was it? Queen, uh, Bays, Bayswater. The, the Jehovah's Witnesses, man, they may not have the hawk, but they got the motivation and determination. And we got the hawk and we got no motivation. Nothing. People want to cry on our shoulder. Oh, yeah. Okay. But there's 11 months out of the year. What are you doing then? What are you doing then, man? And it's like uh, on, on Facebook, 
uh, there's a the Revert Muslim Association. It's a, a open group, and what I've been doing for the last couple of months is I, I offer new Shi'i and non Shi'i from a uh, Hujjet bookstore here in the UK. I, I give them the link. I'm like, pick any books you want. I, I don't know how many you want. I'll pay for it. Books and the shipping. And I know two people who've accepted the Ahlul Bayt Islam from just that alone. Just that alone. So I haven't done it in a while, actually. It's like two months. But from, you know, it's... And there's, there's genuine Sunnis who are like, I don't know anything about you guys. I hear, I hear this, I hear that. Then pick a book. Misconceptions about the Shia, it's yours. It's yours. Imam and Imams, go, it's yours. Like... We, we we gotta we gotta pull ourselves up by our bootstraps, man. Like, and I I, I mean I don't know I don't know. You, you you guys are doing it, and but then uh, you know you're 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 only one station. I'm only one person, and we, we got There's no unity. There's no unity. There's no unity. Uh. I feel personally, and this is my fallible opinion, that we need to point out their books and because I like from what I've read and what I've learned. ISIS was created 1,400 years ago. Jemal, like, come on. Who, what mother kills thousands of her own children? Come on, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. So, like, ISIS isn't nothing, Daesh is nothing new. It's just a, a revamped version of what's happened through all, all through history, you know? So, we, first we have to, like, make dialogue with the Sunnis, be like, yo, this is, it's in your books, man. Ibn Taymiyyah says, my blood's halal. Like, let, let, let's talk about that, bro. Like, you, you guys respect Ibn Taymiyyah. Why is my blood halal? Why? You know, so it's, 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 it's their books, man. And, and, they're, and they're crazy, not crazy, like the, the way they interpret the Quran. It's like, I, 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 listen, I know like five, six orders by heart. That's it. But like, you can't take everything literally. Like the, I, there was actually a, a sheikh in Saudi. He was like, everything in the Quran is literal. Man's blind, mind you. So somebody was like, yeah, sheikh. But Allah subhanahu wa says, those who are blind in this life are blind in the next life. He's like, everything's literal but that verse. Because he don't want to be blind in the next life, you know? It's, it's, it's silly. It's silly. And, and another thing is, like, their, their books and their leaflets and, and their, their translations of the Quran, especially the noble Quran, I, I, I implore everybody to stay away from that translation. I'll get to that in a second. But they, they got the money. They got the oil money. They, they just... Propagate, propagate, propagate. Well, you know, we're not, you know, like, be, because, because of my country's sanctions on Iran, I have to go to a third party, pay twice as much for the books. When I go to the Ansariana site, it's pennies on the dollar for these books. But I'm paying 30 pounds plus, plus Royal Mail? Come on, like, I, I, don't, I don't know, man. Like, they got the money. They got the money. Gulf states, man. I, I don't want to bring politics into it, but, you know, they just... But going back to the Noble Quran, while, while I was still a Sunni, there was this... I forget the ayat, but the brackets. Anything in brackets, I usually ignore. But uh, the verse went something like, and, if, and slay them wherever, they, wherever you find them, and, like, use all of the means at your disposal. And the parentheses said planes, missiles, rockets, guns... I'm like, uh, excuse me, Imam, were there, were there planes and rockets in the, in the 6th, 7th century? No, 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 why? Well, because whoever translated this Quran put it in the parentheses. Oh, they're just updating it, you know, for the, for the modern era. I was like, what was used on the World Trade Centers? Planes. So why would you put planes in brackets in the ayat? Come on, it, it doesn't make any sense. And where was it printed? Saudi Arabia. Like, I, I, got, I finally got a Shi'i translation of the Quran by S.V. Ahmed... I forget his name. But anyway, that verse, there's no parentheses of like missiles, planes, you know? And even even uh, at customs, they were like, so how do you feel about everything going on in the Middle East? I was like, it's, it, it's a travesty because they're killing my people too. They're like, what do you mean? I'm like, I'm a Shia. Like, they, they put, they spray paint Ra um, on the door and they, they, get, they get it. The Christians get noon and they, they get slaughtered and the women, the women get taken into slavery. Oh, I, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah, man. Because these guys aren't Islam. Come on. And even the Prophet Ali said, beware of those with the black flag. And what are these guys waving? A black flag. Two and two is four. Stay away from them. My fault, my fault is, personally, and uh, I've even said this to my wife, I, I know the history. I, I, you know, I, I got all the knowledge. But I still have trouble waking up for Fajr. You know, like, you know, I, I learn it. 
but my reaction and, and implementing it in my life isn't where I want it to be. So, I mean, I, I got to keep working. We all